So now when I have downloaded, installed, and set up my cloud app, and that can be on your iPhone, your iPad, on an Android phone, an Android tablet, on your MacBook Pro, or like a laptop, and I'm familiar with the navigation, then it would be nice now to be able to upload photos that I want to store in my cloud. Some people will say that's like a backup. Yeah, it could be considered as a backup, but it is a place where I will store them, but I also like to manage them. So how do I go about that? As we can see here, we are here in the root directory of this cloud, and you can see there is five folders that I have access to. Let me say that I'm now Michael Conway. This is a private folder, and in here I would like to store pictures that I have on my device. So how do I go about that? First of all, I will, of course, go into my Conway. Then in here I have subfolders, and one of them is called Pictures. So I'll press on that. And when we come in here, there is nothing else. There's just emptiness and I want to upload pictures, but I want to manage them also. I want to already now put them in folders so that it is easy for me to find them again. So let's say that I have been involved in an accident and I have taken some pictures of the location and the damage to the car, but I want to store them up there so I don't lose them. My phone gets stolen or something happens to my phone, then these pictures will be lost. I don't want that, so I want them to be stored, but I also want it to be easy for me to find them. So first of all, I will create a folder that says something about when these pictures were taken. So up here at the right, you can see the three dots. I'll press that, and then I'll say I want a new folder. Right away, it's called new folder, but that's not what I wanted to call it. I want it to be labeled first as first with a date or year, month, date, and then a description of what I'm putting in there. So here I'll just say it is 2015 underscore, and then this is June, again underscore, and then I want to say that is, let's say, the 8, and then underscore, and then I want to put some text here. Let's say accidents, pictures, pictures of accidents. So here I'll just start here, pictures of accident. So pictures of accident, and then I will save that folder. So now I have created a folder, and now I want to put the pictures in there. So I will press on the folder and now I get into an empty folder and here I can store my pictures. What I'll do is I'll go up again to the three dots and then add photos. Right away it will go in and say yeah but it has to be from your device and normally that's stored in your camera roll. So I'll go in here and camera roll uh, here. So here I will press here was the location and then there's pictures of the damage to the car. There's more about where it happened and then again some satellite photos again the location and these pictures now I want to upload to the folder. So as you can see down here in the bottom you could take pictures and then they will be directly stored in your cloud or like here I'm taking them from the camera roll and put it up to the cloud and you can see here I have 20 megabytes pictures that I want to upload to my cloud to a folder that I have created and named so it's easy to find. So I just press down here and then of course I'll be patient. You just have to wait and see what's happening because as soon as the pictures has been uploaded they should begin to show itself in here. So with a little bit of patience, you can see here they are getting uploaded and you can now see the contents in the folder that you created is getting updated. And as long as there is movement in the folder, as long as they are getting uploaded. It has to be said that the speed depends on what network you're on, or if you're on a Wi-Fi network or you're on 
the provider's network like AT&T or Verizon's network out there, or if it's the G3 or G4, VLE network, all that will have an influence on how quickly these pictures can be uploaded to your cloud. And you can see now it's stopped, and here's all the pictures. And if I want to preview them, after I have now uploaded them, then I'll just press here. And then you will see gradually, you can see here that they will be put in the cache so I can at least see them. And here, can you see that's the back end of a car? So that's done. Let me go further down. Let's see what happened if I press here. Again, you can see here, here you can see the satellite photo and the location where the accident happened. And so now my photos are uploaded to the cloud because if I go backwards, you can see here that here is the clouds. Here is the folder, my folder, if I was Michael Conway. And then when I come in here, I will have folders in here where I had a folder called pictures. And then I label them with a year, months, date, and then a description. And then when I go in here, here is my picture. So now I have a copy on my phone or my laptop or my iPad or what it is. And I have a copy in the clouds. That's it. I hope that that gave you an explanation. How do I manage photos that I have on my device and how do I put them up in my cloud? And how do I manage the photos that I put up in my cloud by creating the folders I want to put them in? And what has to be remembered is that you have first to create the location you want the photos and then you choose the photos from your device. I hope that helped you.